What's up guys? It's Rob Tuck Help here. Okay, so today I've got a video, a very interesting video. I've got with me a tech hole HDMI splitter and I've also got here a HDMI switch. Well, HDMI switch, sorry, I'm not saying it properly, from Ghana. So I'm basically gonna go through the differences between the two. You can see that obviously the two of them look very, they are, there's similarities, but they are very, very different. They're for different purposes, basically. So if you go through my videos, I've actually already done a video on the tech hole splitter. And you know, that video purpose doesn't actually have great sound um, so I'm, I'm, you know, trying to basically, you know, bring up a new video that can at least help people that, you know, didn't quite get a great understanding of the use of this splitter. But basically this is a, a splitter and a switch are two different things. The splitter has, has, would have multiple outputs, for example. So HDMI splitter, multiple outputs and has one input, if that makes sense. So basically with the two outputs you can extend to diff two different displays if that makes sense so if you've got a tv and a monitor you can extend to two different tvs from one source so if you've got a laptop for example or a pc probably a pc is better for this example actually um, because a pc doesn't have any output on its own a laptop has one it has its own screen so with a pc Ideally, you would put the PC into the input and then the outputs would be two monitors for the PC that you have. Do you understand? And then it's just easy to extend uh, it that way on the two monitors. Whereas on a laptop, because the laptop already has a screen, when you, you can still uh, duplic duplicate the screens on two extra monitors or, or a TV and a monitor or two TVs, whatever you want to use. But the issue is, is that it only probably extend to one and then to extend that other one to the third one it's a bit more technical and it gets very deep and it's annoying basically so it's better off using a pc for that i would say anyway now how this is used so if you've got for example an xbox and you want to somewhat i don't know why but you want to have your xbox shown on two screens or your playstation 4 on two screens this is perfect for you you put your Xbox uh, HDMI inside the input. Then you got two HDMI's coming out from the output to one, uh, two different screens as well. So that's how this would work. This is brilliant for that. This is this can shoot in 4K and 1080p. So this is brilliant for if you have a TV that's 4K TV or 4K monitor, whatever you want. This this one works brilliantly. But in terms of as I said before, laptop and PC, I would say you use a PC better if you want to extend screens. If you want to duplicate screens, it doesn't matter. You can use your laptop to extend to one and then that would be duplicated with another monitor so your laptop screen is fine it extends to another screen another monitor brilliant and but that that other screen will have to be duplicated with another uh, screen unless you have a way of working out around that i haven't been able to find that but i know with a pc you would be most likely be able to do it once i get a pc i'll definitely do a video to show that as well now let's talk about the splitter so guys, the funny thing is, when I was first looking for a, sorry, you see, I just made that mistake myself again. But let's talk about the switch. When I was first looking for a splitter, because I wanted to extend my screen, my screen, sorry, I ended up getting the switch instead, which as, as soon as I was about to use it, I was like, well, this is not going to work. This is the opposite of what I need, because basically this kind of switch has three inputs so and one output if that makes sense so this one has two outputs and one input Th this one actually has three inputs so instead of this one being the input to sort of display into three screens you actually have three inputs and this is the only display you have so this is only for one display what this is what this is really good for is if you is if you've got too many cables for example or um you don't have enough hdmi ports in, in your on your tv or your monitor 
you can use this put in three sources you want so you have a laptop for example and the HDMI 3 you've got your Xbox on HDMI 2 input 2 and then you've got your I don't know Nintendo switch I guess on uh, input 1 now plug all three in and then put this into your TV for example or your monitor doesn't matter what you want to do is it's brilliant absolutely brilliant I have to say what you do is it would all turn it, this will basically turn green while once you put in the HDMI cable it turns green now what you want to do is you press select this is brilliant you don't need a remote for this you just need to be able to be close enough to this to change them so you just press select and it changes it will just basically change from each one to each one whatever you want so even if you're working from home for example you've got your laptop here you've got a monitor here and let's say your laptop has connected into this you've got your I don't know your Xbox or whatever your Nintendo switch ps4 doesn't matter in here as well and you've got your monitor next to you now yes your laptop is connected but what you want to do now is okay I'm on break for example I'm on my lunch break I want to use my Xbox now all you have to do is switch using this it's called a switch using the select press switch and it changes to that so that's 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 the difference basically between this extended monitors more sources more Xbox PlayStation PC to one display multiple displays so multiple displays one display multiple splitter multiple dis displays switch you are switching between the sources that's the difference guys anyway guys it's your boy Rob Tech help here I hope this video helped please like subscribe comment you know how it goes haha <laughs> I'm out